anyone remember the 1998 children's film Small Soldier? That movie was Terminator for kids. I legitimately think that's how they sold it to the studio because the guy who played the, the toy truck driver in this movie is the same guy from Terminator who sold Arnold the guns for the, for, to, to be the Terminator. The music was also reminiscent of Terminator 1 and 2 because it like, it had the do, 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 kind of like, like, uh, riff to it. But I remember loving this movie, but it was unhinged. It was the most 90s, like, it, it was the end of the 90s, but it was like very 90s-esque because it was like so violent and like aimed towards uh, adults, really, but like, the, the 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 way that the kid, a teenager, less than a teenager, he was like twelve, kills the main bad guy in it, Major Chip Hazard. He like lays him on top of like a like climbs a power pole and lays him on top of two transistors and like it like electrocutes him. It's like a thing that like kids were trying to climb power poles. I remember like my dad telling me about this. This was on the news. Because I don't, I, I don't necessarily, I didn't watch the news as a kid. He, that like kids were climbing power poles and trying to put their major chip hazard toy on top of it, and like, and like to to see what would happen, and like kids were getting electrocuted. It was like very unhinged. But the movie was like super ahead of its time too, because it all dealt with like military AI technology and stuff. Look like before, like nowadays when like AI is like huge, like it's like back then they were like, yeah, this is legitimately scary because. That was what Terminator was about. It was like, hey, what happens if like these things come to life? Like if this military technology becomes like available to people. Like that's very scary. But on top of that, outside of the movie itself, the toys that they had for this movie were amazing. I remember I had Major Chip Hazard. I had uh, uh, Archer, the emissary of the Gorgonites. I had those two. Those toys were so well made. We used to beat the hell out of it, like throw them at stuff. N they never broke. They were like, and like the voice box worked great. It was like, they were the military technology that they, that they were like showing in the movie. Like they, they were like so strong and like they lasted for years. It was like 2005 or six before those toys really like stopped working and broke. And this was a, like, I got them in 1998. That's a long time for a toy for like, a just, just, it was me, my brother, my sister, my brother was my other brother wasn't born yet, but my I, like we would beat the hell out of these. Things. It still baffles me why they didn't make a sequel to that because they're like, I mean, it kind of makes sense because like kids were climbing power poles and stuff, and they're like, we can't really do this anymore. Plus, the government was probably like, hey, listen, we've got this technology, we can't be we can't be making it look bad.